Hey guys, this is Troy Jackson, and the third video I'm going to uh, show you all today is a strategy for teaching math at more specifically area and volume to students with uh, mild intellectual disabilities. Um, so we know that students with an intellectual disability sometimes have problems uh, with making generalizations, uh, memory, uh, understanding, uh, especially when it comes to math, understanding the process of how you uh, you get to where you get. So, you know, why do you get there? Why is this the answer? And sometimes they have a hard time making, uh, you know, connecting those processes. So it's very important that, uh, especially as they move on in, in their uh, further math classes, uh, they understand topics like area and volume because uh, you know that can lead into you know understanding algebra understanding uh, different you know things like that so uh, here's some ways you can help them kind of understand uh, these concepts just a little bit better it's best to use some sort of visual aid so for example if you're going over area uh, it's it's a little bit easier for them to understand uh, two dimensional is not quite as hard so um, if you've got, say, a big square or something like that and you want to find the area, uh, we'll try using little bitty squares that go in that big square uh, and explain to them why counting those little squares in the big square uh, will give you an area of that whole big square. Um, and they should be able to make that connection with the formula that you're trying to get them to understand and to use. Um, yeah, so, and then we look at uh, a three dimensional object. And now a three dimensional object is a little bit tougher um, for these students to kind of grasp the concept of, but you can use the same uh, type of tactic. So, for example, if you got uh, some kind of big object that you want to find the volume of, or you want your students to find the volume of, you can try using uh, cubes, uh, just using regular little cubes, and explain to them just like you do with the two-dimensional shapes uh, what those cubes represent. Um, why, you know, why does this show us how this formula that I want you to use works? And then from that, uh, you know, seeing it visually right in front of them uh, should definitely help them make uh, connections. Yeah, they probably weren't necessarily going to be able to make uh, just you know looking at notes on the board. Uh, so giving them something they can uh, physically look at uh, is something that is definitely going to help a student with uh, intellectual disability. And that's not just for math; that's for for any class, really. Just about if you can make it work, uh, that's something that's really going to help them in the long run. 